So what we see here is an old Roman path. I mean, why did the Romans win all, the, all their wars and battles? Because they built path and roads so they, can, they could have uh, quick uh, material and, and soldiers back up. Like, you know, you see the stones here? This is Roman. It's probably more than 2,000 years old. I mean, Switzerland, here in Bern, Switzerland was the first who collaborated with the Romans uh, against uh, Europe and the Europeans, and they still do today with their banks and all that. Switzerland is Rome, as they uh, protect with the Swiss Guard, the, uh, the Vatican and the Pope, the bloke of the, the priest of Amun, you know. Yeah, with the funny hat. The Swiss have the same funny hat. So if we go on here, which I'm going to show you, we come to the military barracks, which is called Sand, in German Sand. Uh, it's a training place, and uh, what we hear is, uh, you know, uh, staccatos of gunfire the whole day, sometimes caliber 50 and small 223 NATO, yeah, well they have NATO ammunition. Uh, this is the head of NATO, this is Octagon, where they give the orders. And um, yeah, so Zand, it means sand. And in Latin, or still in Spanish, and probably Italian as well, it's uh, the name is Arena. <clears throat> At the beach, you know, La Playa, it's called Arena, the sand, the sand. So, where they fought, like in, a, uh, in the Colosseum, that means big, so the Colosseum was the big um, arena in Rome. So, um, they called the place where the, the slaves had to kill each other, they called it arena, because it was only sand. Arena. So now we're going to show the Swiss arena sand. Okay. So, still the Roman path at Zand, S-A-N-D, like in English, you can look it up in the Google. And now it's going to be on YouTube. So, let's see what we get. This is the uh, prolonging of the, uh, the Roman Empire, Switzerland. It is. Look at all the stones. Here the Romans came, passed by on their sandals. Right? Yeah. And there's a real big military arena, which is called sand. Oh. There it is again. You, know, you can almost hear the wagons going over it, you know, like you know, like this. And uh, old Roman stuff. Maybe two and a half thousand years old. This is where the uh, New World Order started in Europe, in Switzerland. Aha. So here we can see some more. Like here. Yeah. This forest, the Romans, they passed by. This is where we came from. That was all Roman stuff. Where they prepared the assault on the Gallic people and the, the biggest genocide the world has ever seen in France on the Celtic people. And uh, the conquest of Germania. Yeah. So, okay, well, let's see what we get. There it says hiking way, hiking path, and uh, actually we're living like 50 minutes march from here, only. So, there where the car is here, there's the sand, the uh, army barracks and all that, it's real big. So here's still the Roman path, but it's not authentic anymore here because it's, uh, they made a parking for the cars and where the sand is. Yeah, so, but before, you, it, it could have been recognized as a, uh, an old Roman path. So here you see the dense forest all over. Yeah. So here we get to the, uh, the army place there. It's quite foggy today. It's been foggy like for a couple of days. Some place you don't see anything here. So let's have a look. It says stop, not any further. 
shooting range here. There, the army stuff there. Well, let's have a look. You better not catch me here. Because we're gonna, we're gonna time me something up like some Swiss lies. You know? So here, I think this belongs to the, to the terrorist squad. I don't say anti, but terrorist squad. I saw them training before, look, there's a police thing on it. I'm not going to go any nearer. Maybe they'll already see me. And here it is, here. Yeah? And it's real big. It's all in the forest. The dudes training all there. It's everywhere, here. Yeah. They even still use horses. And every Swiss man has a caliber 223 army rifle at home. In the cupboard, with bullets and all. This is a Templar tradition. These are real Templars, these guys. You can't imagine this anywhere else in the world. They even have to have the army, the full automatic army rifle, like an M16, even much better and more precise. Well, the M4 is supposed to be quite good. And uh, every man has one at home. At Sundays and Friday evening when they go at home or have to go to the army on Sundays, you see them walking around with it, you know, just shouldering it uh, with bullets and everything. Uh, in train stations and uh, all over. Well, the guy saw me. I better piss off here. Yeah, bloody police there again. So this is the uh, the Templar army of the Swiss Nazi Templars of Octagon. They are the real enemy of mankind. And uh, here we can see it again. Be careful. They shoot around here. Uh, yeah, there it is. Schoenbühl in Bern. Sand. Yeah, it says sand. Roman. Arena. So there used to be a sort of a coliseum here. I'm going to read it. Yeah. More Swiss warnings. Here's some more Swiss warnings. Well, okay, I'm off here. Before the blokes are coming. And uh, they're a bunch of liars, so... Go back to the Roman path and walk home. Okay, see you next time, guys. See you around. Don't. That's the motorway. Going to Basel, to France. So I'm back at the Roman path. Thank God the, the Templars from Octagon didn't see me. That wouldn't be good. I haven't been outside for two weeks now in my prison. Oh, and they love this, the Swiss. But there's a universal law that says uh, today's hunted will be tomorrow's hunters. This is my good old Bergen backpack. I've got a bigger one as well. This is a small one. It looks even smaller because I don't have anything in there. Yeah. It's fabulous. The Bergen. The British. Yeah. This is my jacket. A pos. A B pos, sorry. There it is. That's me. Uh, well, that's a long time ago. The C, C Squadron Zilla Scouts. Rhodesia, back in 81. Well, I don't want to talk about that. So, this is my Bergen. Yeah. Well, let's hope the British Army is going to move soon against these Nazis. You didn't do a thorough job in 1945. So, let's, let's show them what a South African is, what he can do. And we don't like Nazis. So, um, free world, let's kick some ass soon. Because this is unbearable what they're doing. It's unbearable. The cowards. The Swiss Nazi Templar cowards. That's how I call them. They can terrorize my kids, you know, chop off the, the cat's foot, torture me, like saying, oh yeah, we're nice and clean, go and have a shower. And then put on the Zyklon B. Well, I got that Zeeklin B. I couldn't breathe for five months. But I'm still there. 
I'm still there and the AB pause is still good. That's South African genetics trained to survive. We used to say something else, but I changed it through YouTube and experience. I say, who cares, with a C, who cares, wins, who cares. If we don't care, we won't win. And I'm not going to do any more wars for your pharaohs and templars and banks and money. I'm my own soldier and I'm my own general. Well, let's have a break. Otherwise, I'll say some wrong things. So, that's where we came from, from the Zand. The Arena, the Roman path, and this is where I'm heading for. Another 15, mo 15 minutes, I'll be home. And I'm going to upload it to you guys. See you in a minute. So, there it says again, Zand. 15 minutes. Well, I did it in five minutes, I think. And the Grauholz Denkmal, that's when Napoleon beat the Swiss. And oh boy, they're still crying about that one. You know, a bunch of sissies anyway. They're assassins, no real man. So, Romans, two and a half thousand years later. Uh, did you like my gear? Did you like the Bergen? Did you see that two and a half thousand years later? Oh, things really changed, didn't it? Okay. So here we're coming back to civilization. Well, I mean, uh, if you can call Switzerland civilization, I mean, no further comments. So this is where I came from, from the sand. And uh, this is where I'm heading to. Almost there. Left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left. Your left, your right, come pick up your left, your left, your right, your left. Sorry. <laughs> or this one, while visiting the Yanks, I did like. She is a lady in black and she does it on her bag. Wow. We don't say these sort of things, really. So, almost there. I think, yeah. The Roman path is continuing there somewhere. And just over the hill is where we are. Nice tree. Okay. So this is where we came from, the Roman path, well this is not, but before, took a shortcut. This is where we're going to. Yeah. And this is the shooting range, well this village even has two. There, here they trigger. And, well they, they open up the, uh, the wooden structure here, it's like a long door. It's like hidden, everything is hidden, it looks like a farmhouse. They even have farmhouses with cannons in it and airplanes. And this is where they're shooting at. I think it's 300 meters. What's that? Three, 350 yards. Uh, so every Swiss man has a, the young ones, they have a caliber 223 NATO Remington rifle at home with ammunition all and the older blokes the older geezers They have a uh, almost 308. It's a bit heavier even. It looks like a heavy machine gun or a light machine gun. Sorry uh, Yeah, so This is really and they have to train with her like shoot like three or four times a year and then do another three weeks every year or something of uh, repetitions and this is all compulsory you must have one of these things at home so these are 
mercenaries and they still are uh, the Templars so this is the Templar army and they're real cowards they're real dangerous they smile smile they smile and they wait for the moment they drive you in the corner and they wait for the moment until you can't defend yourselves anymore like being on the floor like other people's like in France you know like being on the floor there's a pity you say okay you had enough they'll leave it here they only start when you're, when you're on the floor and can't defend yourself and can't defend your kids like the Jews in the concentration camps that's Swiss then they start beating on you and you know then they act like heroes but they're not they're not They're not. I'll show them what the South African hero is like. I mean, just by filming, of course. You understand? Just by filming. We're not going to say anything wrong, do we? No, we don't. Right? So bye-bye, you Swiss heroes, for now. Bye-bye, Octagon Nazi Templars. You're a menace to the world, and I know you. I'm getting old, I have to breathe heavy. So this is where we came from. There's the shooting range. Here's this lovely tree. Here are the, there's the Templar flag. They're already waiting for me, nice village. Lovely people, hey? Well, they're not smiling to me. They're only smiling when they want something, you know? And this is what I wanted to show you as well. Here's even more foggy because there's a swamp. And even the farmers can't use it, as you can see here. Yeah. There's a swamp. And guess what? Uh, here it gets interesting for you, Mr. Spiral Cosmos Art. Um, here it gets really interesting. Here it says it's a swamp, be careful. What did they do here? Only 150 years ago, still. They drowned people in it by a Swiss Nazi Templar court. They condemned them to be drowned, as they did with the Anabaptist people and the, uh, the Amish people who had to fly for their lives, I mean the ones who were still alive, to the Americas. And uh, well, this is the Emmental, you know, just behind, behind the hills here is the Emmental where the, the, uh, most of the Anabaptists were. If you follow this road, this path here, you'll be in the Emmental like in 20 minutes. And here they drowned them, the Anabaptists, nice lovely people, you know, who don't do, didn't do any harm to anybody, who just thought, well, there's something wrong, we have to change the Catholic religion. And we just believe in, uh, in the entities, the divine entities. And uh, they escaped to the Americas, uh, the ones who got off with it alive. Now, this is Switzerland. They drowned them by force and by a Swiss inquisitional uh, court. Just as they murder immigrants by today, 2012 by the O2T torture. They suicide them. They would love to drown them here, but they just can't do it. You know, it's too obvious. Yeah, and in fact, the last children's slaves they had here, the Vodinkinder, in 1989. See Contract Kids of uh, a, a, an Australian film by the SBS, and it's now on uh, Journeyman Pictures. Contract Kids or Lost Generation, Lost. Uh, Switzerland's last generation of SBS Australia and uh, that's children's slaves until 1989 just watch the movie it's only 15 minutes it's real good and they had eugenic programs until 1996 so if a girl or a young man uh, was in a demonstration well they caught them up put them in this prison which is just next to here and um, they sterilize them by force and they well people like you we don't want them and you're not gonna 
you're not going to have any children because we don't want your children around either. They would love, they would have loved to drown them here, but instead they did it behind closed doors. See, this is Switzerland. And in the meantime, they love, they show Heidi movies and the whole financial elite and the black nobility come skiing here and they go to the, uh, the noble resorts and uh, have their houses here and have their money stashed here. And in the meantime, they're doing this sort of garbage, you know, against humanity. That is Switzerland. There's no other country in the world with such a contrast as this country here. And they're a real criminal. Oh, they're a real criminal, I tell you. So, well, that's what we're heading for. Go back to my little prison. Yeah. So it's a foggy day, so foggy days I dare to go out, you know. They don't see me. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you know? The Anabaptist, Amish drowning marshes. It has a... Uh, triangular configuration or oh, what do you know hmm. maybe there's some powers who established this who knows actually the last the uh, sometimes I got arrested here if I go out of the village then the Swiss they call up the police and then they intercept me here and here they had put the, the first occasion they had put some dope in my or a powder a brown and a white powder I don't even know what it is because I'm not into these sort of things and uh, I managed to get it out before thank God I saw it so I got snapped here I got snatched here by them and the other occasion another two occasions uh, they threatened me here me here I put a real police car in uniform and they said well you're not gonna do any more YouTube videos and don't talk about the Swiss Templar octagon history or otherwise you're gonna end up like Mr. Wolfgang Umfogel or we're gonna squeeze the trigger the next time that's what they said yeah and um, so you understand what's happening here uh, I'm, I'm living through uh, what they are hiding to the world here and what they always hid and uh, what they did to the, the poor Anabaptist peoples and the Amish. I'm not telling any bullshit. This is, this is, this is a swamp where they did this. <sighs> but, oh, a nice Templars flag. Oh, what do you know? Mm. Okay. So there's the village. The Templars flag. And this one is even worse. That's the uh, the bear, like in the apocalypse. This is the flag, what the poor Anabaptist people had to see before they got drowned. This is the beast. Oh, I hope that bloke doesn't see me. Oh yeah, oh man, he already sees me, I think. They're gonna call up the cops. They did before, they always do. And then they come and arrest me and Try to uh, to hang on something to me. Oh, well, I better go home. Okay, sorry guys. So here's a tennis court for the uh, for the villagers. But don't you think I can use this with my boys? Oh no! So this is one of the pyramid houses, and here are the the crosses. Does that remind you of something else I filmed? Yes. Chateau Amerois, the Satanist castle. You see? 